Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're good, safe and having a ball in your life. It's been a while since I've done my last video, approximately over a year sabbatical, I guess. But I'm back again with more experience and insight about do-it-yourself home interiors. If you're new here, my name is Ricky Doshi and I'm an architect and interior designer based out of Mumbai. last video, which I had made almost a year back, we had discussed about beds, side tables and dressers in the bedroom. So today, moving further of the carpentry section, we'll be discussing about wardrobes and study table in the bedroom. The main storage component of your bedroom is called a wardrobe or kapat, as we so dearly call it in our local language. Along with the bed, it is one of the most essential furniture item of your bedroom. Being such an integral element of your bedroom, we can customize these wardrobes the way we want it to be. It is highly recommended that you yourself sit and design the wardrobe internals as per your usage. Depending on your room space, the sizes of the wardrobes can vary, but the standard sizes that we use is somewhere between 39 inches to 42 inches per wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobes are trending these days, especially in big spaces where one can dedicate a special room only for clothing and accessories. Wardrobe shutters can be classified into two types, openable and sliding. I'll be talking in detail about these two types of systems. Openable shutters, as the name suggests, consists of two shutters which are opened outwards. The shutters are hinged together using different types of hinges. Most commonly used is a butt hinge. The other commonly used hinge these days is a soft, close, full overlay hinge. The advantage of using this hinge is that the shutters can have a soft closing property and unlike butt hinges, they are completely concealed and cannot be seen. The other most common wardrobe shutters are sliding shutters. These shutters work on the mechanism of rollers or sliding tracks that are usually placed above or below the shutter. These help the shutters to slide on either sides. The advantage of a sliding shutter is that you can use the full length of the wardrobe without wasting any patch for accommodating the side hinges. Also sliding shutters as they open on the sides can be used where passage space is a bit of a constraint. One disadvantage is that you can only open one shutter at a time. For example, if you have two sliding shutters, only one is operational at a time. Another aesthetic disadvantage is that with a sliding shutter, the two shutters will overlap each other. Luckily, these days, new hardware fittings, although expensive, have been introduced into the market where you get an option of an openable and a sliding shutter together. And also there are these sliding fittings that do not overlap each other. Wardrobes can be made out of solid wood, plywood, MDF, and a relatively new sections of aluminum profiles have come to the market. The finishing materials which are most commonly used are laminate, veneer, solid acrylic surfaces or Korean as we all know it and glass. Looking at the current scenario that we are in, most of us are still working from home and that's where a study table becomes one of the most important element in your bedroom. Unless you have a dedicated study room in your house, a study table is a must in every bedroom. This can be one of the most simple components of your room, but definitely the more important one. It needs to accommodate your laptop, a printer, some space for stationery, some drawers under the table for storage, and if you need additional storage, an overhead storage unit. The standard depth of a study table varies between 21 to 24 inches, which is a comfortable space for working. The chairs can be pushed right inside the study table so that it doesn't come in the way of your passage space. For ergonomic comfort, the height is usually kept between 30 to 32 inches. Although these days we also get mechanized tables whose heights vary from 30 to 48 inches. New study shows that sitting for long periods develops back problems. So standing and working every now and then is a good form of stretching your back muscle. I hope this video helped you understand the importance of wardrobe and study table as an integral element of your bedroom. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and click the like button if you haven't already done so 
and do not forget to share this video with your friends, families and acquaintances. It helps me to spread the knowledge to a larger audience. Also do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon. You'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for supporting this channel and stay tuned for the forthcoming videos. Thank you.